WFMI News 2's Christian Morgan is live at Garden City oh, as the huh? hurricane makes its way up the coast. Christian, um, what's it like right now? I'll tell you guys, we've really seen some heavy rain and gusty winds, probably around 40 miles per hour over the last five to 10 minutes. Since we last talked a few minutes ago, we're at least a bit calmer now. Of course, as those bands push through, we'll have more heavy rain. We'll have more gusty winds on the way. One thing I want to point out to you is we're in Garden City this uh, Garden City this afternoon. Notice these man made dunes that they've actually been preparing at the beach here over the last week. If you remember about a year ago, Hurricane Ian rolled through here and of course caused lots of flooding concerns. So the beach hasn't really been able to be rebuilt back up in enough time to prepare for this. So what the city of Garden City Beach has done is come in and made those dunes themselves. And we spoke to uh, Thomas Bell with Horry County Emergency Services. He talked a little bit about that and their preparation for this week. Immediately following Hurricane Ian last year, we did what we could to rebuild our dune system um, in the areas that we were able to. Um, of course, we do not have as much sand, as much, uh, I would say, width of beach as we are normally used to um, heading into a hurricane season, especially peak season right now. Um, but what the county always does is whenever we do have a storm threatening us and there is that risk of storm surge, we do um, put up emergency sand berms um, at our beach accesses just to help break some of that water um, so that it doesn't have as clear of a route into the road systems and things like that. Yeah, and Thomas stressed that right now there are no evacuation orders. There are no curfew orders in place for Horry County tonight. Of course, he did urge uh, residents and travelers here. I know a lot of folks from the triad come in vacation here and maybe on the way this weekend. He said, just be mindful, be safe tonight, use your brain and just know it's probably best to say stay, stay inside tonight. I will tell you, I want to point this out real quick, Crosby, if you can show this just in the last few minutes as it has calmed down a minute. We've seen some folks kind of run out of their beach house to at least take a couple minutes in on the beach, but I can assure you they'll be back inside very soon. Of course, this area here in Garden City is very prone, to, uh, very prone to flooding and storm surge. So we'll be watching that carefully. Of course, we'll have live reports for you all evening and again tomorrow morning.